man and a woman whom are ex-lovers each approach the incoming threat of a nuclear bomb during World War III in different ways. Join me for a conversation with the student filmmakers behind the short film, End Line. I'm Crawford Bear. I'm Jack Lachiev. And uh, we both directed and uh, shot at End Line. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, your film and why you made it. Yeah, so I'd say it started off sort of as a class project thing. Um, and it was more for a class that um, really didn't need that much effort. Um, I, I guess it was mainly what shot yeah. on, a, a lot of them were shot on phones. For the yeah, most part. or it was barely, really vague. Like you could do yeah. like it was a very vague live project. action thing, could write something. Yeah, it was a project based around uh, world, world building. World building. Mm -hmm. So we were thinking something uh, pre- uh, or post-apocalypse, you know, in that range would be something that could be really, really good for world building. I was trying to go for something easy, and I was like, yeah. what's easier than apocalypse? Pre-apocalypse. Yeah. Not to destroy anything. Yeah, so we, we thought it would be, you know, very easy, but also something that we could, be, like, be able to accomplish to show a world like that. Um, and from there, built characters, which, you know, are just two, two people who once were a part of each other in their life and now we're sort of following them on these different paths right before um, an incoming apocalypse. Or the end. The end? Yeah, end line. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, uh, thank you guys for letting me watch your short film. Uh, I loved it. Yeah, of course. course. Glad you Appreciate enjoyed it. it. Uh, tell me about your experience uh, getting this accepted in the Oxford Film Festival. It was, it was really surprising. Like, yes. yes, it was. For a second, we thought they just accepted everybody and they're going to be like hundreds and hundreds of short films. Yeah. And then we like... Or at, at, at least it was going to be everybody, every student was going to get one accepted. Yeah. But no, um, no yeah, we were the only like, uh, freshman film from what we can take in. I'm pretty sure yeah, we're the only whole freshman class. film. So that was, that was pretty cool to, to uh, have happen. Um, but yeah, so we just submitted it. And, yeah. yeah. Is this the first time that you guys have worked together? Uh, we've done a couple of projects together, yeah. but I mean, a couple smaller projects, but I'd say this was like our first like a serious, serious, successful one. serious and successful short film. Yeah. Uh, have they all been fiction? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, I'd say so. <laughs> Except, I mean, we did have the little bot film we did. It was, it was a little small class project thing we yeah. had to do. This was like our, our intro project where we had personal, like one minute films that we were yeah. doing. And so I did like a sort of documentary-esque thing about the Starbot robots on our campus that deliver food. Mm. So I just, we just <laughs> ordered one and I followed it. Yeah, <laughs> and so then I was like, you know what I could do? I could document his experiences, <laughs> document the robots. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's what we did. So yeah. I guess that was technically <laughs> documented. <but laughs> that very meta. Yeah, very meta. So. Uh, this was a really well-executed idea. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about what it was like filming this on the university's campus? Yeah, um, I guess I'll, I'll talk about some of it. Some yeah. of it was like really awkward. Like yes. when we trashed the hallway, that, that's his oh. dorm hallway. So yes. they're just kids walking out. So like, what yeah. is this around here? <laughs> uh, I'll piggyback off of that. We, for that, we had to be like, okay, we have to film him walking out of the room and we need to film him walking back. We need to accomplish that in about 15 minutes or less. Uh, not to have because we, we didn't really get, we didn't really ask our RA about that. Um, I, mean, so I was like, it was a weekend. It, yeah, it was a weekend. Hours. So we said, okay, fifteen minutes. We're gonna just try to knock this out, and that's what we did. We we did it probably in less than fifteen minutes. Yeah, we, we just took all the trash from it. your room and just spread it. Around. Yeah, we, we knocked it down about twelve to thirteen minutes and dumped that out quickly. Picked it up. That so that was something that was really fun to throw together. Um, would you want to talk about the library scene? Oh, so or originally, you know, yeah. I had to switch it. The funny thing was because it was a class project, we had a, this is actually the second version of it. And so when we submitted, when we turned that in, she's like, all right guys, now just take those and make them better. We're like, uh, <laughs> that so was sort of the idea of it. the project. Um, so the whole library scene, it was like, what, like 30 seconds long at the beginning? It was, well, it was only one shot at first. It was only yeah. one shot. So and we definitely made the library scene longer and yeah. make more sense. Cause the first time we're like, what does this have to do with anything? Yeah. Well, cause, it, it confused people at first because they were like, why is this dude at the library? We don't 
it. So we were like, okay, we need to make it clear that he's working at the library. So we had him do the little check-in. We had him with the little cart. Um, and yeah, I, I think that was executed better. Um, I, guess, I guess we can talk yes. about my scene. I yeah. particularly <laughs> hate my part, but <laughs> I guess I could say I do have the most lines, so I, I get that credit. But we did sort of improv the whole thing. Like mm -hmm. we just got there like, wait, what are we doing? And then well, we, we had an idea. We needed him to be like, "What are you doing here? Go home." But yeah. then we, we yeah, but with, then with like, the take, we kind of got carried yeah. away with the uh, the f bombs, which I I think you know if, if we were to do it again, we'd we'd, we'd, we'd script we'd, it. We'd, we'd well, we'd we'd script it better to take probably take those out. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, half the time you have one. <laughs> one is probably the this is what I come in three. Yeah. Oh yeah, no. It was three. Yeah, so I heard the first one and I was like, wait. No, no, stop. I, I was trying to stop myself. <laughs> yeah. I was in the theater just closing my eyes. I couldn't yeah. do it. Um, okay. I'm that sorry. Was like, sorry about that. I yeah. like, feel the cringe. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. that was really the only hiccup. Like, hic oh, I mean, major hiccup. That and th there was a little part at the beginning, editing wise, uh, where I didn't lower the sound. Uh, I didn't sound mix it quite well. So in the theater, I, it was I knew so it was going to be loud. I uh, guess I was like, oh, crap. Project Wise, though, we are we are discussing remaking this movie uh, to make it look a little more polished and to sort of expand on some of those ideas, some of those flashbacks, you know, expand on the characters, expand on the world building. I'm really hoping to get some more B-roll and make it really build the pre-apocalypse and like, yes. the craziness of everybody. Yeah, we, def we definitely want to, you know, have more time to be able to flush our, our, our ideas because obviously we, we were up against uh, a two-week window, project window, two well, weeks to three-week project window. Of course we window. waited to the last second. Well, we waited to the last second for, for some of the scenes. We realized, oh crap, we really do need it in the, <laughs> in the movie. But but yeah, so that's that's probably big project wise. Yeah, that's where we're going. Yeah. Great. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, if you guys have anything that, that you want to give a shout out to, now is the time. Um, I guess you could shout out that our Instagram, your Instagram. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Forty Seven Limited. I'm pretty sure it's. it's it, it, yeah, it, it's it's on Instagram. It's where we're, we we uh, promote all of our yeah, our, our so films in, in that category. Or at least the ones we collaborate together. Yeah, we, we yeah yeah that we've collaborated on so far. It's a small Nick Nick group of us. Um, I, I think it's forty seven underscore limited. Um, but if not, you know, on Instagram. Yeah, make sure that's clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Forty seven limited. That's where you can. I guess you can shout us. out your your YouTube channel too. Yeah, yeah. It's just under my name, Jack Lishio. You can check out all. You want to shout out your other channel? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about that yeah. after this. Yeah. <laughs> I just think that's fine. But yeah. Well, now you got everybody interested. Yeah, indeed. All right. Well, I guess they'll have to stalk them online to find out what I'm talking about. <laughs> I think it's funny, but I mean, you enjoy making it. Yeah. Yeah. It's something to do. Make a little money on the side. <laughs> so. Yeah. And it's not. It's not only that. Gotcha. It's YouTube. That's exactly it is, what it is a YouTube kid channel. It's kids friendly. Kid, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, all right. Well, thank you guys for your time. Thank you. Thank you.